We're going to be changing the spark plugs and the HT leads on this 2013 Ford Fiesta 1.25. Right, let's have a look, let's go. Obviously the first job is to open up the bonnet and support it with a bonnet prop. So let's get that done and make sure the bonnet is nice and secure. Right, well let's get started removing the HT lead first and then do the first plug. Right, just disconnecting these little clips and bits and pieces here. Then we'll remove that and we'll change this plug over. There we go, HT lead number one off. This is new HT leads, obviously loads of brands. Go down to your local motor, motor factors and they can supply. So making sure that it's actually the right size and everything fits. So we're happy with that. That's all going on there. That's good. Nice tight fit. Now we'll just change over the spark plug. This is a 10 mil spark plug spanner, obviously on a ratchet. Now being very careful with these because you can actually damage it, but as long as you take it nice and easy, you'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Let's take out number one. Let's have a look what sort of condition it's in. Okay, let's have a look. Well, it's quite dirty, but it's, I've seen a lot worse, but obviously we're changing them all over anyway. So brand new Bosch spark plugs. Obviously loads of other brands are available, NGKs, all sorts. But let's get a new one in there now. Obviously using that 10 mil spark plug spanner as I said. Do them up finger tight first and then just use the socket just to nip them up. They don't need much pressure to hold them in, you just need to make sure they're done up. As you can see, look, there you go, hardly anything. Not putting loads of pressure on it, just making sure that it's done up tight. Okay, so that's the first one done. Now the reason that we're doing this is because it actually threw up an engine check light, which when we scanned for code, it said that it was a misfire on cylinder one, which is either gonna be the HT leads or it's gonna be the spark plugs. So we're gonna swap them out and we're gonna re reset that ECU. All right, getting number two out. Now obviously this is the same, but I'm gonna take you through all four of them just so you can see. There's no change for the whole thing. Okay, number two coming out now. Now we'll check every single one of these as we go, because obviously we want to make sure there's no difference in the burning of the spark plugs. Again, about the same sort of level as the last one, so all good. Bit a new one. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fake, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste, and my mind starts feeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. No. Dying, gonna give up. Got too little time. As I said before, just nipping that up to make sure it's nice and tight. Through the tough times, cause anything. Oh, right, so sometimes this can happen. If the spark plug spanner is really, really good condition, it can get stuck in there. So we just use a pair of needle nose pliers. It just gets stuck on the spark plug. You could undo it again and remove it. But all I do is get a pair of needle nose pliers, grab hold of the top of the socket, and you'll see you can just pull it out. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not difficult. I thought I'd leave this in so I can show you what obviously happens, and it's nothing to panic if it happens, you see? Just a quick interruption to our video today to thank our sponsors. 
Dragon Car Audio and Security. They're based in Fairham and they can deal with all of your audio and security needs. I've put their telephone number down here so you can give them a call, but you will find all of their links in our description. Well, do hit them up if you need any audio or security, and well, let's get back to our video. Okay, so now let's check out the next HT lead, get that swapped over. Here we go, number two going in. Like I said, all nice and tight. They are exactly the right ones for the car. Always do check because some of these manufacturers, they can get mixed up. Make sure it's in there properly. And there we go. Number two in. Okay, working on number three. Take the lead off, take the plug out. Like I say, I'm only going to show you this because obviously you can see all four are done exactly the same way. There's no change for all four of them. Do one at a time because you don't get mixed up then because there is a firing order. So if you do them one by one, you're never going to get a mistake. It comes out number three. And a fresh one in. Up. Okay, change over the HT lead. We've only got one left then, and then we're all done. Right, here we go, last one, deep down inside of all of those bits and pieces. Right, number four. Right, like I say, all of the spark plugs have been roughly in the same condition, so we're happy that everything's firing as it should be. We'll just replace this last one, get the last plug and HT lead in, and then uh, we'll give it a start up and reset that light. Nipped it up again. Last lead to change over. Just trying to tidy up the clips and stuff in there as well. Okay, there you go. That's all four done. Let's go. Let's start her up. Smooth. Light still on, it should be. Is the engine light still on? Yeah. Right. I'll do that bit. Cancel out your engine light then. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in a video again very, very soon. Take care.